Hello everybody, I'm Kale. And I'm Marin. We are the Smiths. And we live full time in that truck fed camper. Today we'd like to give you a quick tour of the outside and the inside of our camper. We've had a lot of requests for what our camper life is like and what it looks like inside. So let's get to it. So starting here on the outside, we have our truck. It's a Chevy Silverado from 2003. It's a 2500 HD model with the V8 six liter engine. We're super stoked on this truck. We got it for a really good deal. It's been an absolute pleasure to drive. It's very comfortable inside and it does a great job hauling our camper around. So here we are on the inside of the truck. Of course, it's the extended cab. Inside, we've got our comfortable front row of seating. This truck makes for awesome road trips. It's extremely comfortable. The only downside is that we get like nine to 10 miles per gallon. Without that, everything else is fantastic. Uh, in fact, let me show you our garage. So right here, we decided to remove the back seat of the truck in order to save some space and allow us to keep our bikes with us wherever we travel. We didn't feel comfortable leaving the bikes in the front or the back of the rig, so we store them right here inside where we can lock them up. We built our own little uh, mounts right here, so they're safe and tied down pretty strong. Of course, we have the rest of our bike equipment in there as well. It makes it really convenient for us when we show up to our biking destinations to be able to get out and just rip. Another cool feature of our rig is our front mounted hitch rack here. We keep a bike rack on here at all times. And of course, we store our get around town bike. This is our commuter that gets either one of us to school around town or to work. So the front hitch mount has been fantastic. We've not only used it for our bikes, we've also used it for our motorcycles. Highly recommend. It was far easier than trying to mount an extended hitch off the back of the camper. Plus it adds a lot of extra weight to that rear axle. So we're totally stoked on this. This is one of our favorite features of our rig. So we have the camper tied down to our truck with some Happy Jack truck mounts. A lot of people jones for something a little bit sturdier, but we have had no complaints with these. They keep the camper tied to our truck just fine. The installation was super simple. Of course, right here on the outside, you can see we've got our, our propane heater as well. Right over here, we've also got a hot water heater, which has come in handy a few times. Uh, this is also our connection to uh, power, if we ever want to plug into shore power, which we do a couple times a month, but not very often. We've also got an outdoor shower, which doubles as our bike wash station. So this is nice after a long hike or a muddy bike ride, we can shower off right out here. Probably one of our favorite things. We also have a city water connection. Down here is where we keep all of our plumbing materials. Uh, of course, you can see the black water tank right there. This is where we, where we dump all the good stuff. We keep our dump tube right here in this nifty little, uh, what do you call this, bumper. Our camper also comes equipped with four electronic jacks. Uh, these can be motored down with a handheld remote that we have. It can completely lift the camper off of our truck, allowing us to drive the truck out from the camper. Um, ironically, we, we rarely use them as we keep the camper on our truck almost all the time. So coming over here, these are the majority of the brands that we really love and we really enjoy. So shout out to all of our favorite brands. You're right here in the back of the camper. Right here, we also have a thermometer, which is kind of fun. Now we can know our outdoor temperatures. Right now we're coming at 60 degrees. Uh, check this out. This is one of our favorite things. This ladder is totally awesome. It folds up right here on the back of the camper. Um, comes down, you don't have to worry about strapping it to anything or, or uh, letting it, it never comes loose while we're driving. It's just always right here. It's, it's actually really awesome. So right here underneath the ladder is where we store our snowboard equipment. So right here we've got our two snowboards and a whole bunch of extra stuff. Okay, so these are our bike tools, so my, our bike toolbox. These are our regular tools, working on the truck and the camper. And then we always keep an extension cord with us in case we have to plug in on an emergency. Then down here is where our batteries are stored. They're completely out of the way. We have two six volt golf cart batteries wired in series to create 12 volts. Um, this is an awesome compartment as we rarely have to get in here. Although we do have to get in there every once in a while to top them off with water. Also out here, this is where our propane tanks are stored. We've got two six gallon propane tanks. We've got some outdoor electrical hookups here a fridge vent, and another city water connection. So up here on the roof, of course, you can see we've got a bunch of vents. 
This is also where our solar panels are. We've got two 100 watt Renogy solar panels. This is where we get all of our power just directly from the sun. Now it's my turn to show you the inside. This is our front porch with a handy handle and a beautiful front door. So first thing coming inside, we've got our MPPT charge controller that shows us our voltage on, that's coming from our solar panels, from our batteries. Of course, a fire extinguisher because you never know when kale's in the kitchen. And some storage. So starting here with this storage container, we keep shoes, snowboard gear, sports stuff, whatever else it needs to be. Moving on in, we have the kitchen. My favorite spot, of course. So we've got a two bowl sink with a faucet and this lovely cutting board that fits right in so that it won't slide out when we're driving away. We've also got a stove, which is clean. Thank you for cleaning that. It's beautiful, oh my gosh. A three burner stove, which is beautiful. And a little oven, which we've used a couple times with success. So we use it for storage mostly just because it's not the most efficient and it burns things pretty easily if we don't keep an eye on them. So, of course, we have this magnet strip here, which is where we store all of our knives so that they don't go bouncing around stabbing stuff they shouldn't. And of course, the llama. We've got lots of storage in our kitchen. So we keep, I mean, Tupperware, pots, pans, peanut butter, which is the source of life. This is our stereo. And we listen to cassettes, because that's how we do it. Anyway, these are just some command strips that we've stuck on the wall. And this is where we keep our keys and other gadgets that we need to grab as we're running out the door. Again, just some more storage. We've, this is our, our ditty drawer, is what we call it, where we keep our pens, tape, coupons, because we're couponers. We've got tools and screwdrivers and silicone, and all kinds of stuff. Lots of storage. This is where we keep all of our grocery bags because we use them as trash bags. And all of our cleaning equipment, rags, general cleaner, bleach, dish soap, toothbrushes for scrubbing, all kinds of stuff. So now we're gonna move into the bathroom. So this is our itty bitty bathroom, which is actually pretty big for a camper, especially a truck bed camper. And it's separated, so you have the toilet area and the shower area. Which usually in truck bed campers, they're not separated, so we got pretty lucky. There's a storage compartment up here where we keep all of our stuff. And since we do a lot of showering at the gym, we also use the shower for a little bit of storage as well. There's a beautiful skylight above. We love that. Here's the beautiful toilet. It doesn't flush like a traditional toilet because it's a camper. Obviously, this is our lovely sink with running water. Okay, moving on into the dining room. This is our dining area. And these are our beautiful seats, which also double as a little bit of storage because there's no better place to put our backpacks. So backpacks go there. This is where we keep our guitar. We've just put a, a couple little hooks on the ceiling and then here on the side and we've bungee corded it on so that it will stay. This is our notes board. It's a whiteboard that we have mounted just with Velcro on the wall and some markers that we've mounted as well. This is our thermostat. This is just some more storage compartments here. Some school stuff, sweats, of course. Jesus. And more s sweats. <laughs> These are my bookshelves that I made on my very own. <laughs> It's just cardboard that I found at Walmart and I covered it in some contact paper, but you'd never know. It looks like it was meant to be there. Anything that's sitting out has to be Velcroed or stuck down because we do a lot of moving around. This section as well, the table can drop down and the whole thing can turn into a spare bed in case we had visitors, which we're yet to have. So, you know, who wants to be the first, I suppose. This is just some more storage for clothing. This is our deep food storage. <laughs> it's full of potatoes and chips. It's a great one. We gotta keep this latch locked though because we've had a couple of food storage incidences where it all comes tumbling down. This is our fridge where we keep um, a map of the West Coast and the places that we plan to visit while we live in a camper. And this is our gigantic camper fridge that is much more stocked than usual, which is fabulous. 
as well as a separate freezer. Which again, is far more stocked than usual. <laughs> And then this is the coziest part of the whole camper is our full queen size bed. This is our queen size bed. We've put some extra padding on top of the mattress which makes it extremely comfortable. This is one of our favorite features about it is this magnet that we've stuck up here on the ceiling. We have magnets in the back of our phone so when we stick it up there, we get to lay back and watch movies. It's kind of like a home theater. So here on the side, we have a little bit of mood lighting. And then here on the sides is all of our clothing storage. So these lift up, and this is where we keep all of our shirts, pants, pajamas, etc. And then some more storage here in the back. This is my version of a jewelry box. Again, just some command strips that I stuck on the inside of the door so I can hang my necklaces up without them falling around. On both sides of the bed, Kale has installed a couple of phone chargers. So this is just a little USB port where we plug in our cords and can charge our phones and our watches at night. There's little lights on here on the sides. And here on Kale's side, it's pretty much the same thing. Another USB port for charging. Another little storage compartment back here. More clothing storage here. This is a little smaller because, you know, I have a few more clothes than he does. But again, another deep, awesome closet. Tons of storage room in this camper and we love it. So here on the floor, we roll this rug back and we have a little second garage where we keep more bungee cords, some power tools, some bike cleaning stuff because we're always washing our bikes, extra car oil, WD-40, a drill. You never know when you're gonna need that kind of stuff. We also have another secret compartment here where we keep shoes. There's more storage that's underneath these seats where we keep more interesting stuff. Isn't it nice? All right, everybody, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the tour. We love our camper. We love the opportunity that we have to live in this tiny little house while we're going to school. So that's it for today. My name's Kale. And I'm Marin. We are the Smiths. And until next time. We'll be smithing it.